I'm extremely disappointed. And for more reasons than you'd actually think. Welcome yourselves to the dev server. It is still up after I've had a nap after getting up at 5 in the morning or streaming War Thunder. I was going to do a short overview video like I normally do. Short, condensed, entertaining, filled with information. And then I had a look at the patch notes. We have five aircraft, technically. Uh, but one of them includes a boomerang with updated models, which is completely incorrect. It does look nice. There is a Chinese vehicle, which... Honestly, I don't know that anyone's going to bother with. It's the only World War II vehicle of this current patch. At least in terms of data mine. In the data mine, we found several other vehicles to be there. There is just a handful of things. I'll put them up on screen right now so you can see them all. We've got a, a MiG-21, an Mi-28, a weird sort of PT-76 with a 57mm autoloading gun, and... I think there is more stuff as well. But generally speaking, this is probably the most lackluster patch in War Thunder's history. And I say that because its features are the craters and the demolition uh, by whereby the dozers. Sure thing that Germany gets these little bastards, the weasels. But these are only just really there to suffice, you know, and, and to say, hey, look, guys, there's actual content here. You know, the data mine from 2.7 was far more interesting than this patch. And there's only, what, five vehicles and maybe five fleet vehicles? So there isn't really a great deal to talk about, except for the fact that they've gone and done a backwards, two steps forward and tumbled down the stairs, as one of my subscribers on Twitch said in the, the Twitch chat this morning. You know, they've made naval models different again. So for those naval players, you're going to absolutely have a great time because they can't just leave stuff alone, you see. No, they've got to keep tweaking them. But more importantly here, we've got under the economy and research, I'll show you right here, we have something called, you know, all newly obtained universal backup vehicles. Orders and wages will now have a validation time to be activated and expiration time for all orders. Okay. All relevant data added to their description. Attention, all previously obtained universal backups and orders that are to be used within a lengthy period of time as now stated in the description. And to make things worse, they've also nerfed the living daylights out of some of the wages by decreasing the silver earning potential of some of them. So let's go over this. Newly obtained universal backups, right? That's what that says in their own words. We go over to here, have a look at our inventory, and would you look at that? I have hundreds of these wages, or I have quite a few. I don't have hundreds. I know some people have got thousands of these things. And you're actually expecting them to use them in a hundred days? You're being generous there. Not only that, they haven't put the timers on the universal backups yet, and they haven't put them on the individual backups as well. Uh, so that's this one, the, uh, the upon activation. And honestly, this is the most, most pointless uh, sort of addition to, to, to the game, really. And it really, really does seem like every major update, you want to cause a bit of controversy, right? And further remove the capabilities of what is possibly one of the most unique and fantastic games on the marketplace. And each time this is done, there's been no consultation from the community. There's been no poll. There's been no, oh, here, we'll just blam, shove it on the dev server. Hope people don't read about it. And here, have some new shiny vehicles, right? You know, if... You know, you really want to kill the player base. That's what you please continue down this path of just adding, you know, potentially game killing, you know, well, funny enough, the, the, the game patch is called update uh, groundbreaking, more like update game breaking. Because in the reality, all people were doing on the dev server today was drawing massive dicks. John, tell me your opinion on uh, what, what do you think of this patch so far? Hey, how you going? Hi, everyone. I'm Ash. I mean, you and Justin rating me is, is quite ironic. Uh, hi. Fucking... <laughs> 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 oh, my... <laughs> what a... Precision. Mid-to-go-breaking World Thunder Patch. We now have craters. And we can see our tanks in... <laughs> 
That's good. <laughs> Fucking you. <yeah. laughs> uh, yeah. What's the fun? What is this? <laughs> 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 oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gold. <laughs> I wish you hadn't have sent me that. Oh, bloody Nora. Honey, yeah, welcome to update cock and balls. The need for a timer on backups, right? I have quite a few. You get them you get universal backups in in vehicles that are quite cool, right? I got five backups. Now they're gonna have a timer on them. You know, why 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 have a timer for backups, honestly? We're gonna have to pay to really uh connect to the game next patch, maybe, huh? Would you like to pay to play War Thunder? The guys and devs would love that, wouldn't they? And I'm I'm ruining my employability here, but essentially, you know, timers are here. They push people. They absolutely push people to their limits because of the fear of missing out. Or it's a common sales te technique but why the fuck do you have to touch every little aspect of remaining dignity that this game has universal backups are something that can be used in a vehicle lineup they help you know win games they help uh, your vehicle or your team do better right in some cases and sure it allows people to spawn the object you know 279 again or spawn in their bradley again but at some point, you've got to wonder, you know, playing on the feeling of the player to make their investment worthy and not let their booster or their wager or their backup or their whatever the fuck it may be expire. Because, you know, you're letting the player have their own peace of mind for playing the game. And, 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 and yet here you are forcing everything every single time. Do you want players to play the game? You know, do you like quality of life upgrades? Well, maybe you should start listening to the player base a little more. You might not believe it, but and, and you better be satisfied when the majority of the community comes together like it has, outspoken about this change, purely because it's the, the most defining thing about the update. Everything else hasn't come to the first iteration of the dev server. All, all the interesting vehicles. Look, this thing here, the end of the South African thing, it's kind of, you know, Dakar rally -esque. The game mechanics are, you know, you've even changed the spawn point mechanic and you've even changed a little bit of the sound again. You can't help, you know, changing sound effects. I presume by the second dev server, there's going to be a heap of more changes. Also, I'm just a bit nitpicky here. Japan, this this phantom, it gets JDAMs, yet it doesn't have its domestically produced variants of, of similar like laser guard weaponry or something along those lines. You know, this is the first nation to get JDAMs, yet they Japan natively didn't use them. And by the way, these are only the GBU38, uh, which, you know, isn't exactly the greatest thing out there. They're 500 pound bombs. In fact, there is nothing to say. Thank you for watching this video. I believe that the players deserve a better chance at things. I may be a casual player, but that doesn't discriminate the fact that, yeah, I play the game casually, right? There are plenty of other content creators out there that 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 you know, would agree with me on on such a change here because you know you can't even provide feedback for some some of this right. But don't worry, comrade. You can now bury your head in the sand and draw massive fucking dicks in the desert. I'm Ash. Catch you in the next one.